Hello, everybody. Good, thankful Tuesday to everybody. Hope y'all are having a God-blessed Tuesday. That's what I'm going to start calling it, Thankful Tuesday, because I'm thankful that we made it through the weekend, and here it is Tuesday, and we're on our way to another beautiful, wonderful day, through another beautiful, wonderful day that the Lord has made. Um, as you can see, I've got some ground meat here. This is ground turkey, of course, because y'all know I, I don't hardly use ground beef anymore. So anyway, what I want to do with this for Thankful Tuesday is um, what I'm going to call some um, pizza burgers. So what I'm going to do is make um, some hamburgers with this, uh, hamburgers, well, turkey burgers rather, turkey burgers with this ground turkey. And I'm going to flavor them uh, with the seasoning that you would use on pizza to make pizza sauce and the like. So what I've got here is two pounds of ground turkey. And I've chopped up uh, in my little veggie chopper here. I've chopped up four cloves of garlic and one small onion. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my ground turkey. And of course, that y'all know me in seasoning. I got to have plenty, plenty of flavor in these burgers. I'm, we want to have these burgers be something special tonight. I'm also going to put some bread crumbs in. I did not crumble up my bread yet, so I got to, I think I'm going to run it through. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it right into my uh, chopper here and let it chop it up because I need it as fine and as ground up as I can. Let's just give that uh, ground turkey a little bit more substance to hold it together, so to speak. Because as you know, ground turkey is a soft textured uh, kind of meat, so it'll need a little bit of help. Okay, meanwhile, I'm just going to put this uh, bread right here for right now and I'll chop it up in a few minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all the rest of the ingredients that I'm going to be putting into these burgers. Let me just wipe those crumbs because they are kind of sort of winking at me. Okay, get those crumbs off there. Okay, the other ingredients. I am going to place, uh, let's see, one tablespoon, of course, of complete seasoning in there. Let's go ahead and drop it right in. And I'm going to put a tablespoon and then one teaspoon of Italian seasoning because we want that Italian seasoning to come right on through because after all, these are pizza burgers. So that's one tablespoon and one teaspoon. Let me get me a teaspoon going here. And a teaspoon, okay? Well, then get it all up. Okay, and a teaspoon. Now, because I've got uh, ground fresh garlic in there, I won't have to add any other garlic to it. Now, I think I told y'all about these little packets, these little burger infusion. This is just for extra flavor. It's called. They're called uh, garlic uh, fresco burger infusion. Now, I'm going to only add one tablespoon of it to my mixture here. Let's get it going there. And that should, that should be enough. You know, and a couple more sprinkles. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of um, black pepper. Let me see if I can get this black. Yeah, there we go. It cooperated, y'all. Okay. A good, healthy teaspoon of black pepper in there. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients except for I'm going to uh, go ahead and get my chopper part to this um, appliance here. And I'm going to go ahead and chop up those breadcrumbs and get those going in there. And I know uh, soy sauce is not an Italian flavor, but it is a flavor and it will blend right in because it blends with everything. So hold on just a minute. Let me go ahead because the chopper makes so much noise. I'm just going to come go off camera and do it and I'll be right back okay y'all I am back I've uh, as you can see I went ahead and ground up that bread and you know what I almost forgot one of my main ingredients that's uh that's gonna justify me calling these burgers pizza burgers this is about eight or nine I think it was either eight or nine slices of who can guess what that is pepperoni you heard it so I'm gonna put those that ground up pepperoni 
right into my mixture. I don't know how in the world I missed that. So, for a recap, if you want to write down the ingredients in the very beginning, because I don't, I, I don't put them uh, at the end of uh, the recipe, rather, at the end of the video, because I usually have so many different things going on. By the time I get to the end of the video, it's a lot to uh, go back and redo. So, at the beginning, we've got, uh, to recap now, listen up, y'all. We got two pounds of ground turkey, or if you want to use ground beef, you can use ground beef if you like. Um, one cup of breadcrumbs, and I make my own breadcrumbs. You can have just, I'm sorry, I, about three-fourths of a cup of breadcrumbs. In mine, I, I toasted two slices of bread, which was made about three-fourths of a cup of breadcrumbs. So two pounds of ground turkey. Uh, three-fourths cup of uh, breadcrumbs. You can buy them already made up if you want to. Um, one small onion ground up. Four cloves of garlic ground up. So you can just, when you're grinding, you can just grind your onion and your uh, garlic together. Okay. I used one tablespoon of complete seasoning. One tablespoon and then one teaspoon full of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of uh, black pepper, and then I added a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now, and then, of course, I say the, uh, the, pep the uh, pepperoni I added, I'm, I'm almost sure that I added, and I used the big round size, maybe the uh, three inch size of pepperoni because I bought them from the deli. I had nine slices or we'll say uh, three-fourths of a cup of ground up pepperoni. So that's how we'll measure the pepperoni. Uh, I'm not going to put any salt in there because everything I'm putting in there is already seasoned and I think it has enough salt content in it. And of course, like I said, this is ground turkey, so I don't need an egg. So, you know, if you're thinking about asking me why I don't put an egg, you don't need it for turkey. Because turkey is such a soft meat, it um, it's real sticky, and it'll be okay without any egg. I don't need the egg in it. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and mix this all up together. And then, like I said, this is two pounds of meat. I will, And I don't want the burgers to be really, really thick. I want them kind of thin. Because also, to that burger, I'm going to add some turkey bacon. So, I'm going to fry up a... a some strips of turkey bacon and you can either you, you know have whatever you want to do you can put two strips per burger or one strip per burger i'll leave that up to you and then of course we're going to have the uh if you want lettuce tomatoes ketchup on you will fix them up just like a regular burger uh but the for the taste wise it's going to be like tastes sort of like a pizza we you know with the cheese and all it will remind you of cheese so that's why we're going to call it a um pizza burger so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up make my burgers flatten them out and then i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking them and then i'll show you how i'll dress it in the end now as a side dish i'm going to do some parmesan corn now that is going to be some corn on the cob uh, that i boiled it a little bit first then i'm going to take it out of the water and i might even cut it down to smaller pieces and if not, it's going to be cooked the same way. Just depends on time. So what I'm going to do is pour butter over it, salt and pepper over it, and then I'm going to sprinkle it uh, with some Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to run it through the oven and let it brown a little bit. And voila, we've got Parmesan corn on the cob. So we're going to have uh, these Italian turkey burgers and Italian corn on the cob. And you can do a tossed salad with that if you like, or you can skip it if you use lettuce and tomatoes on the burger itself. Or you can use some, um, like I always do, I, I slice up uh, cucumbers, zucchini, a, few, a little bit of tomatoes and put a little vinaigrette dressing over the top of it. However you want to do anything, you will leave your green veggies because that's just me. I always like something green with whatever I eat. So, But the main course of this meal is going to be those Italian burgers. I'm sorry, pizza burgers. They'll be Italian. Italian pizza burger and the uh, Parmesan corn that I'm going to bake in the oven. So let me go ahead and get the uh, burgers put together. And get them rolled out and get them in the pan because the hour is beginning to be late here, y'all. 
We ate a late lunch. We even went out and had some ice cream. Went to Burger King, got us an ice cream cone. Look, if you ever just want a little ice cream cone to eat, they got the best thing going. Burger King has an ice cream cone. Believe it or not, in 2019, you can actually get an ice cream cone for one dollar. And it's a nice size ice cream cone. And it's some good ice cream. Uh I don't do y'all know me, I don't do a lot of eating out. But that ice cream cone was quite good to me. So let me go ahead and get these burgers rolled out and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm starting to roll out these burgers. Um I'm not gonna make them dunks. I don't want them too too thick. Um because we gotta pretend like they're pizza. And of course they're gonna go on a bun. So I'm gonna say about like so. How about that? I don't like thick burgers anyway. Ugh. I'm not a thick burger. In my family, I don't think we do either. I don't think I ever make thick burgers, even when they were little. I don't like them big old thick burgers. Um I think I'm gonna do uh six because I think well there's just three of us here and I don't know I'll eat one, Laura will eat one, Kareem will eat three. So just in case any of the other kids pop in, I doubt it this time of night because it's kind of late, y'all. Okay. Okay. The rest of these burgers, of course, you know, they'll freeze nicely. I already know that. So the rest of them are gonna go into the Ariza. I'm just going to pat them out, wrap them up real good, and put them in for the freeze. So those are our pizza burgers. And in a few minutes, they're going to be on the stove cooking. Let me do a little fast cleanup with my hands and so forth, and I will return. Okay, I'm back. I already put these burgers on my griddle here on the stove. Make sure it's nice and hot, not too hot. And it, this griddle is well oiled. Because remember, I'm using turkey meat. If you're using ground beef, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. But I put some uh, Pam spray on there. And then I put a little oil because I don't want them to stick. I'm going to go ahead and get them started. And um, get them cooking here. Hopefully I can get all... I'm hoping I can get all six of them on there. Maybe, 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 maybe if I do them. Let's do them a little pattern. Yeah, I think I can get all six of them. Yeah, I got all six of them on there. So, got my six burgers on there. They're sizzling pretty good. They cook a little bit more. I'm just going to take my spatula and sort of flatten them out a little bit more. Yeah, I think they're, doing, they're going to do okay. This is going to be good. And of course, you know, there'll be a little bit of shrinkage there. Um, a little bit of shrinkage. Okay. I'm going to cook them on medium high heat. And we're going to go, say, eight minutes on each side, and they will surely be done in the middle when we all said and done. Um, while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead on across the way there. I got my skillet set up to go ahead and start frying up my turkey bacon. So let me get the turkey bacon going, and I'll be right back. Okay, everything is cooking nicely. I'm just going to let it cook. I got all six slices of my bacon in there at the same time. I'm just going to let them, everything brown up real nice. And then uh, in about the next 20 minutes, all of this will be done. So hang in there now. Uh, go ahead and figure out where your bread is. Get you something to drink going and decide what your um, side green dish is going to be. And I'm going to work on getting the corn up next. Okay, it's time to get this corn together. As you notice, I'm not doing a whole lot of corn. I'm just going to drizzle these corn. This is butter. Y'all know I have to put a little brown sugar in mine for my food. Okay, so we're going to do this. This Lauren and Kareem are going to eat corn. I think I'm going to pass on the corn. And I'm going to be eating some salad with my burger. So, if anybody else comes tomorrow and wants a burger, because it don't seem like nobody else is coming by here tonight, which is fine. It's late, y'all. It's almost 8.30, 9 o'clock. Anywho.
I don't have any fresh Parmesan, but this Fruit Line brand shredded Parmesan in the jar is going to do the trick tonight. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and uh, sprinkle this corn really good with the Parmesan, like so. And I'm going to run it through the oven for about 10 minutes and let that butter and that Parmesan. And I've got some grated uh, Romano cheese also. So another type of cheese. So we're just going to put the Parmesan and the Romano on there like so. Try to get it all over. Okay. Get these turned over. Got my burgers out. And I think while the burgers are uh, quite better, while the corn is cooking, I'll just go ahead and get the burgers started. As far as putting them together. So we're just going to Put them in there like so. I think they'll cook better laying on their sides like that. So, because that's what we wanted to get just to toast it up a little bit. And they're pretty much already cooked. So, these are getting ready to go in the oven for about 10 minutes and then we'll be ready. By the way, uh, these are going into the broiler on high heat for about 10 minutes. You have to watch them though. If you have to back that heat off a little bit, we can do that. Not a problem. So, while y'all are getting your table together and figuring out what you're going to uh, drink and all that kind of thing, I'm going to go ahead and get these burgers started. Okay, we're back. I'm putting Lauren's plate together. There's her burger. The burger on there with a slice of bacon is about all she's going to eat on hers. She just wants a little salad with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, some salad with a uh, little bit of ranch dressing and what I'm going to put right here this is like my little secret sauce we'll talk about how you make that later on but just put that secret sauce on there and top it because she don't want nothing else she don't like tomatoes so she don't want anything else on her so for dinner tonight that is our burger that is our um what do I call it? a pizza burger? I, I just stop. As I was saying, this is our pizza burger. As you can see, Lauren is not a big eater, so we just use her plate to show y'all. This is just one of those small two. Thank God it's Tuesday, Friday. I'm sorry, Tuesday. Thank God it's a Tuesday dinners that we are we you know we ate a lot for lunch. So then on the way home we ate ice cream so this is a nice light quick dinner that you can make and like i said just a little twist on the burger we're calling it our pizza burger now uh oh she probably wants cheese on hers don't let me forget the cheese y'all have to let me get in trouble forgot to put the cheese on the child's burger because she is a cheese eater now kareem does not he's not eat cheese on his He'll just want now he thank God he loves lettuce and tomatoes. So we're just gonna put some Swiss cheese on hers. Okay, so now that makes it a real, real burger. Now she's gonna want some ketchup on let her put the amount of ketchup that she wants to put on there. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that because I you know that's her own condiment. But anyway, this was just a nice twist to a burger tonight, um, a pizza burger. Use that recipe. I guarantee those burgers will taste like something you've never tasted before. And just grab you some corn and a good old salad. Or not. You can grab chips to put on here. Whatever you like. But anyway, Lauren wants a salad. And she wants that uh, Parmesan uh, oven baked corn. So, now, listen y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all always for encouraging me. For the nice kind words that you give me when you send in your comments. I appreciate them. My channel is growing by leaps and by bounds. God is blessing, and I hope you are being blessed accordingly. I love you guys. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Thank you all for standing with me in prayer for our sisters and brothers around the country. We're still praying um, for those shooting victims uh, out in Texas and I think uh, in, in, uh, in Dayton. I believe is where the other shooting was. And thank you uh, for praying for those who are getting caught up in this inclement weather, for the fires, 
just shootings at work and in different places uh, throughout the country and just turmoil at large. We just have to continue to pray without ceasing. And I'm going to say that every time I have the opportunity to say it because too, there's no such thing as too much prayer. There's such thing as not enough prayer because the Word of God tells us that we should pray without ceasing. And also uh, God uh, admonishes us that uh, if we would humble ourselves and pray and turn from our evil ways, then would he heal our land and give us the blessings according to his riches and glory. So we have to learn those principles. It, you know, sometimes we say it's tiresome to pray, but how tiresome is it when we have those hard things to come upon us? So please, my YouTube family especially, please y'all continue to pray uh, for me uh, and for my family and for those people around the country who are having hardships. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in, for listening to me, for encouraging me. And until I figure out something to cook, uh, maybe for Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to say love you guys. I'm going to sit down and I have me one of these nice burgers. So until I get ready to cook again, love you guys. Toodaloo.